episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for The Woman in the Window. This is, of course, based off a best selling book, and it stars Amy Adams. She plays uh, a woman with a agoraphobia. Would you kindly tell them what it's agoraphobia is? It's the fear of the open world, crowded world, so it's like they like to stay cooped up in their own little personal space. They don't like going yeah. out. Um, yeah. So, this comes to us from the director of um, the Gary Oldman Churchill film, Darkest Hour. Okay. Uh, from, also did uh, Kira Knightley's, uh, was it, Pride and Prejudice, and also did the director film, uh, Atonement. Uh, this, uh, this also has a couple other noble actors as well, and right off the bat, the plot sounds like Rear Window, mm -hmm. pretty much. Whether you're talking about the original or the Christopher Reeve version, about somebody who's, uh, basically the plot of this film is, a Gorefolk woman is is, you know, stuck in her own home, pretty much, so she witnesses a murder through her own it's, it's a type of th It's one of those things where it's, uh, it's like, she's witnessing everything from her window, but then she witnesses something that happens that it's like, it's kind of hard for her because she doesn't want... She, she doesn't want to leave, but yeah. she's trying to tell people, yeah. like, hey, this is, what, this is what I saw. Yeah, and she's like, and because we're, she's just spying on people, she's doing her usual thing, pretty much. And but then, th yeah. then that's where one of her new neighbors, it turns out, commits, like, something not so yeah, nice. Yeah, not so nice. So let's dive right into this for the official trailer for The Woman in the Window. So here we go. There are some things that need to be said about me. I have an anxiety disorder. I live across the street. My mom asked me to give you this. I'm not prepared for visitors. I'm a agoraphobic. I can't go outside. Okay, what the hell is going on? Oh, on? shit. I know what I saw. The doctor said that your meds can cause hallucinations. Why are you protecting them? Hmm. They're all hiding something. Like everybody's a suspect. Her earring is in their house. You're playing with the wrong family. This looks good. Look at the cast, dude. Yeah. Holy crap, this looks good. Yeah. I, it's definitely, it's like one of those, it's like, it's like, who are you talking to that was it's, not my wife? It's rear, like I said, it is like rear window, but with a little a extra. Huge, with the extra, a, with the twist. A little bit of more of a twist with, with this. With tweeze. Because in, like, I believe in the Christopher Reeve one, he's like, I don't remember the original rear window, but I remember in the Christopher Reeve one, he's injured. And you can't yeah, really yeah, it's one of the out. Yeah, because you had, I think the... The one you're talking about was because you had the Christopher Reeve one, and I think the other one you're talking about was um, wasn't it the Cary Grant one? Or um, I have to look that up. Because he, but but like, it's like what she said though. He he's got a broken leg, and he he, he pretty much he lives on like a. Yeah, it's, uh, it, yeah. There was the original 1954 rear window, and with then James Stewart. That's what James it was. Stewart. Yeah, it was James much. Stewart. Sorry, not Cary Grant, but James Stewart. I remember that, but it's like he had a broken leg, and he couldn't. He it pretty much he couldn't really move, so he just looked out his window. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I get that. I do get those vibes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fun fact too, because 
I didn't see a trailer, but like I'm on the Killer's Facebook page, and that was uh, like a remix version of a Killer song, pretty much at the beginning. Ooh, okay. That was it. It sounded good too. No, but, but uh, no, that's, it looks good though. It's like a huge cast, but it's like it's it's, it's missing. It's missing with her psychological, you know, or, or her, her psyche, brain. pretty much her psyche. You know, since she's always cooped up, and of course with the with the uh, the amount of drugs she has to take just to you know keep up with her, uh, you know, herself. You know, and yeah, it's the guy from um, Lodge Forty Nine. I was wondering yeah, why the fuck he just got from. canceled. So yeah, still want to see it though. I know, but, but you know, it's sorry to interrupt. But one tiny more side fact. Okay, there's this actor who looks like um, Lance Archer from New Japan. Yeah, the the guy we saw there, he looks like fucking Hangman. He, he does. does he not look like fucking Hangman? He looks like Hangman. Page. Okay, back to normal. Anyway, back to the film. Back to the film. This, yeah, this definitely looks good. It looks good. It's like they th they're throwing in that uh, that thriller side of it where it's just like. Who do you know? Who do you really trust? Who's protecting? Who? And who really is like who they say are? Exactly. Like that. That's why he's like who. That's why I love that moment where she's like, who who are we protecting here? Who are we watching over here? You know, especially when, especially when it's like you know you don't know my wife. You never met my wife. It's like I did. I you know that that that. And all of a sudden it's like I'm her. And it's like okay, what the fuck's going on now? You know, like what the hell? It's like I talked to this one other woman. Now you're saying you're her. Yeah, it's one of those where by the end of it, like, maybe, like, 95% of it was real, and there was that 5% where she was She was just, like, hallucinating, you know, in her own mind, but it looks good. Like, I mean, you saw the cast, you know, they, 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 they didn't even show half the cast that's already in it, yeah. like, Anthony Mackie's in it as well, you know, and we didn't even see him, so it's like, that's the big question here, it's like, what's really going on, what's happening? You know, somebody, it's either somebody's out to get her... Or, like I said, with this whole witnessing, they're messing with her and using it against her. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like they know that she, you know, she's on medication, so they're using this against her. Mm -hmm. But the cast looks fantastic. Amy Adams is selling it like, oh my gosh, she's, she's selling it like gold. Yeah. You know, with this. Cause it, and it's like, like, this comes out like, a, I believe it comes out like a week after Black Widow, too. So it's like, oh boy, we got one action throw, action epic, and the other one is, Lady is seeing some weird shit. <laughs> and then following that, very much, it was it that we have Wonder Woman in June. In June, you know, so it's like we're getting. This is a year of like the women acting dominance in a way. In a way, it's just a good year for some amazing for some female year. actors. Oh yeah, for female actors, this this coming year is gonna be huge for them. Yeah, you know, I so, definitely can't wait to watch them. Yeah. So other than that, if you need to watch them, are you creepy or something? <laughs> Shut up. So, you know what I mean. <laughs> so other than that, if you're new to this channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about what you see out your window. I don't see anything right now. Can't so, see so, um, but let's, uh, yeah, but like, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall. Do you think this looks like it's going to be a good film? Um, does it, do you get a lot of remnants of uh, rear, rear Window? Whether it doesn't matter which film it is, but you know, does it give you the essence? Um, do you think it's be a good solid film for Amy Adams? Um, I mean, does it, does it? What was your first initial reaction to this film uh, when this this trailer when it first you know saw it? Did you get those hints of it? Do you just have that suspense of like, oh, I gotta see what happens by the end of it? Um, if you read the original book, this is actually based off of, does it look like it's living up to what the book delivered? Um, let us know in the comments down below, but don't you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm um, Christopher. And this has been a very Amy Amsfield episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.